Hey, this is Andrew. I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of the saturation detail graphs that we now have in Grafana. So this is a saturation alert that we got in uh, our alert general channel. This is telling us that the connection pool component of the PG Bouncer service is exceeding its SLO. So you can see in the graph over there, that red line is the SLO and the yellow line is the is the current resource utilization. So it's obviously exceeding uh, what we want it to be, so we've got an alert. So if we click on this, it takes us to the existing um, alert Grafana dashboard, which just gives us uh, the same graph again, really. But uh, previously, we couldn't go into more detail. So the new change that we've added is that we can now get more detail because with saturation, we're always looking at the worst case scenario, but this doesn't really tell us what the difference is on each node in the fleet. So what I can do is whenever I come to this page, I can go to the saturation detail. We know that the resource that's saturated is called connection pool. So we look in this list over here and we see connection pool. And if we click on that, we will get a graph that gives us a detail of which nodes and which databases on those PG Bouncer nodes are saturated. So it gives you much more insight into what's going on. Obviously the graph looks a bit messier, but um, it gives you a lot more detail, which could be helpful. Um, additionally, these graphs are all replicated inside the um, each service. So we know that this was alerting for the PG Bouncer service. So up in the links uh, channel menu up here, I'm going to click PG Bouncer, and that will take us to our PG Bouncer dashboard. So I'm just going to roll all these up. Now, obviously, as we saw before, we've got the saturation metric connection pool that's um, maxing out over here. But this, again, doesn't give us very much detail. So if we scroll down, there's a new row on pretty much all of the dashboards for all of the services that's called saturation details. So we click on that. Every saturation component here now has a graph uh, that gives you a lot more detail about what's going on. So in the case of um, PG Bouncer, this is CPU memory, open file descriptors, etc. And so you can see this is the CPU for each node in the, in the PG Bouncer fleet. This is memory utilization uh, for PG Bouncer, open file descriptors, uh, single core utilization, etc. So this gives us all the details um, for for PG Bouncer. Um, the nice thing is because this is saturation, it's always a percentage between zero and hundred. And you can also see that the SLOs for each of these different resources is represented on this graph over here. So if you go to a different service, you will find that we have a different set of graphs that represent the saturation for that service. So, for example, if we go to Kitli, um, here we can see we have a different set of, of saturation components. I'll fold that up. And down at the bottom, we will find the saturation details again. And for Kitli, we have a different set of, of saturation resources that we're monitoring. And again, each one has its own um, SLO limits that it will alert when it exceeds. And this is kind of interesting because at the moment we have some C group memory issues with Giddily. Uh, so you can see up here immediately that the machine that has the problem is file 29. Um, but what's interesting is that on the same machine, file 29 is only 54% of total memory, which shows us that the C group is too small on that machine and we need to make it bigger but um, you know this gives us a lot more detail and should hopefully help us to diagnose problems a bit quicker anyway I thought people might enjoy that demo or at least uh, it might help people to understand what's going on on gitlab.com great thank you very much